Hey guys, we've been given this equation we're asked to solve for x. Now your first instinct might be to try to factor it, which is a great instinct, but that doesn't always work, right? We can't always find nice clean numbers for it to factor to. So when that happens, we have two options. We can either complete the square or use the quadratic formula, okay? This example, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. If you want to see me do the same problem where I complete the square, I'll link a video in the corner, okay? But we're going to use the quadratic formula, which looks like this, okay? Now there's a song, pop goes the weasel, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4acl over 2a. You're welcome. I'm going to regret singing that later, but there you go. Okay, this is my equation. Now where are the a, b's, and c's coming from? They are coming from here, okay? Notice my equation is set equal to zero. That's how we want it, okay? Now when a quadratic equation is written in standard form, the number in front of my x squared is a, number in front of x is b, and the number being added or subtracted on the back is c, okay? So I'm just going to write above these guys. Remember, you might be like, is a zero? No, it's one, right? There's an invisible one here. So a is one, b is negative six, and c is negative six. You know what? I wrote it there. I'm also going to write it on the side just so we don't forget those negatives, okay? So a is one, B is negative 6, C is negative 6, okay? All right, now we just go ahead and start filling this out, right? So I'm going to have X equals negative B. Okay, B is negative 6. So I'm going to have two negatives there. I could write it as a negative, negative 6, right? But when I subtract a negative, it goes positive, right? If you take away something negative from your life that's positive, right? So we're actually going to write it as a positive six. I don't actually need that plus there, but it's there for a second. Okay. All right. So six plus or minus the square root of B squared, which is negative six squared minus four times a, which is one. So we don't really need to write it because it's one, but we'll write it anyway. Times C, which is negative six, all over two times A, which again is one. Okay. All right. That looks a little scary, right? But we're going to keep breaking it down. Okay. So I'm going to have X equals six plus or minus. Okay, we're going to try and simplify what is inside there. Okay, so we're taking the square root still of negative six squared is negative six times negative six, which gives me a positive 36, right? So we're going to have 36 <laughs> minus four times one, which is just four, right? So minus four times one, which is four, four times a negative six, six gives me a negative 24, right? So we're subtracting a negative 24, okay? And this is all over, two times one gives me two, okay? All right, let's keep breaking it down. This is exciting stuff happening here, guys. Okay, six plus or minus the square root of 36 minus a negative 24. Remember, this is just like over here when we subtract a negative, it actually goes positive, right? So 36 plus 24 gives me 60. And we are still over 2. Okay. Now, if you try to plug in the square root of 60 to your calculator, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to give you a not a pretty number. It's going to be an ugly decimal. But what we can do is we can break it down a little. And if you need a review on how to do this, I'll link it in the corner. But we're going to take 60 and find its prime factorization, meaning the smallest numbers that multiply to it, okay? So 2 times 30 gives me 60, right? And I'm going to go ahead and circle any prime numbers I get to, okay? So then I'm going to break down 30. It can be 3 times 10. If you did 2 times 15, you'll end up with the same answer. Um, and then 10, 3 is prime, so I'm circling it. 10 breaks into 2 times 5. Both of those are prime. Okay, so the prime factorization of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay, so any doubles that I see, I can pull out, right? So 2 times 2 is 4, 
and the square root of four is two, right? So I'm going to pull that to the outside, okay? So I still have x equals six plus or minus. I'm pulling this two out, okay? So I have two on the outside, and what's still left under there is three times five, which is 15, okay? And this is still all over two, right? Okay, how are we feeling? <laughs> okay, next thing, we're almost done, guys. Next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to distribute this two, okay? This whole thing is being divided by two, but I can distribute the two to each of them, okay? A lot of times we do this with multiplication, but it works with division as well, okay? So what's that gonna look like? I'm gonna come over here. It's gonna look like x equals six over two, plus or minus two square roots of 15 over two, okay? So I couldn't add these because of that square root, right? But we're not stuck because of the distributive property. The distributive property tells me I can uh, divide this side by two and this side by two, and we're still okay, all right? All right, so now what we're gonna do is x equals six divided by two is three, right? Plus or minus, that two over two is gonna cancel and just leave me with the square root of 15, okay? Now, this can't be broken down any further, so I know it's not the loveliest, even nice number, but that is my answer, okay? Now, some teachers might want you to break it apart into, because there really are two answers here, and it is x equals three plus the square root of 15, and x equals three minus the square root of 15, okay? All right, I know it's not a super nice answer, but <laughs> keep in mind the reason we used the quadratic formula was because it didn't factor nicely, right? So that kind of gives you a heads up like, oh, the answer is probably not gonna be like two and four, right? It's gonna be something more like this, okay? But I hope this made sense. If you wanna check out that, um, completing the square video, go for it. Um, if this helps you, if you could hit the like button, that helps me a lot, but good luck. Bye.